All right, so I decided for today's YouTube video, I'm gonna do a story time about the time I should have died and I somehow miraculously ended up making a recovery. And a lot of this has to do with my weight and things of that sort. And this was actually my wake up call that got me to the weight loss surgery because I spent five days in the hospital and this was the first time I ever spent overnight in the hospital. So I'm gonna take you back, okay? Cause this happened to me twice. The first time I didn't go to the hospital and I had no idea what was coming going on and I absolutely should have died, but I somehow made a recovery, right? Okay, so the first time, I'm laying there, I'm totally out of my mind, I have no idea what's going on, I remember sitting there, and I remember just thinking, like, I couldn't do two plus two in my head. I was so confused, I was sitting there crying, I had no idea why I couldn't figure this stuff out, what was going on, I was just absolutely delirious. My family was begging me to go to the hospital. I absolutely refused to go, right? I wanted no parts of it, and I just, they should have made me go. They absolutely should have made me go because I 100% needed to, but I fought, I fought and I argued and nobody made me go. But I remember sitting there and being totally delirious, like 100% out of it, right? So this is a different time it happened. I didn't even get up and shower, I think, for a week, right? Because I couldn't drink anything. I was totally out of it. This day, my girlfriend comes over. I was asleep. I end up waking up, and I look over at her, and she's sitting on the edge of the bed, and I start fucking screaming, right? I have no idea who she is. I can't recognize my own girlfriend. I am just that friggin' out of it, right? But somehow, some way, I made a full recovery. I didn't go to the hospital. I don't know what made me rebound, but I just eventually rebounded on my own. And I 100% should have died. Like, this is the craziest shit. I definitely should have been in the hospital. So let me take you to the second time, right? This happened to me again. But this time, it's not actually as bad as the first time. I'm just like, huh. You know what? I haven't peed in three days. It's been three days since I took a piss, right? So finally, I'm like, I'm going to go to the hospital. I go in. They ask me, have you ever had kidney issues? And I'm like, no, I've never had anything go on with my kidneys, nothing like that. They're like, okay, we're going to do a CAT scan. So they take me over to the CAT scan machine. They're like, since you haven't had kidney issues, we're going to push dye on you so we can see better. All right, so let me give you a little like inside scoop. If your kidneys are shutting down, do not push dye on them because their body cannot filter it out. They push dye on me and then take me back to the room and say, oh God, no, we shouldn't have done that. Your kidneys are totally failing and we're gonna have to admit you right now, take you upstairs. Okay, so the one nurse is like, we need to catheter you right now just in case there's some kind of blockage or something. I'd never had a catheter before, right? I'm not looking forward to this little tube going up my pee hole either. But then the nurse says, you know what? We got a new nurse that needs to practice her catheter. She hasn't done one. Do you mind if she practices it on you? I go, sure, why not? You know, the more the merrier. This woman needs to practice. I'm not gonna hold her back. So she starts to put it in slowly, slowly, the other nurse is like, no, what are you doing? Go fast, fast, fast. I'm like, you fucking bitch, you mother fuck. And then she finally gets it in and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's out of character for me. That shit really fucking hurt, right? Every, so we laughed about it after the fact, but she slowly inserted this tube into my pee hole. So I finally get upstairs. I'm still pretty delirious at this point, but it's not like the first time. I still know what two plus two is and I know who my girlfriend is. But they're taking my blood pressure and they're like, your blood pressure is friggin' 58 over something. We might have to put you in the ICU. And I remember at one point they tried to give me some medication and I was like, if you give me that medication, I'm gonna rip these IVs out and I'm gonna start swinging on everybody, right? And they're like, oh, okay, we're not gonna give it to you. So they didn't give it to me. I probably definitely needed it to help me, but I didn't fucking take it, right? crazy shit but me and those nurses actually ended up on good terms and we ended up joking and they would fight over who got to be my nurse at night 
But this story is even crazy. But here's, oh, here's my wake up call to why I need to lose weight. Because I'm sitting there in the hospital. Of course, my kidneys are shutting down. So that's not enough of a wake up call for Sean. But they had to bring in a bigger bed because I didn't fit in the original bed because I was 600 pounds. They had to bring in a big bed for me, you know? This was my wake up call. Like, it's time to lose weight. You've had enough, Sean. Like, Time to have, you know, change your life, turn things around. I ended up taking, they said, 20 IV bags. 20 IV bags in the couple days I was there. I think I spent four nights. I was there five days. So 20, that was my first overnight in the hospital ever. But 20 IV bags is just an absurd amount of IVs, right? Or IV bags, I mean, forgive me. But... So after this, you know, I'm sitting there. All the It's funny because all the other older people on the floor, because I was 30, I was the youngest guy on the floor, right? So all the older people, like a few doors down, are sitting there like, who's that young guy over there that's always joking and laughing around? And who's that? So they all like, I was the talk of the floor because everybody loved me over there. But they didn't love me when I got there and I was starting to swing on people and shit, right? But this was kind of my wake-up call. I ended up making a full recovery but just the fact that I didn't go the first time, my kidneys were failing and I had no friggin' clue. But I definitely should have went to the hospital. And I would strongly encourage anybody having any kind of issue like that to go. Because I remember not peeing then and having no idea what was going on, but refusing. Adamantly refusing. I am not going to the hospital. No shot. No way, right? So when I finally went the second time and knew what it was, I knew what to look for this time and I knew to drink more. But here's what the doctors ended up saying. They were like, it was a perfect storm of things, right? I let myself get super dehydrated. And I remember being crazy dizzy walking around and all this stuff right before it happened. But I let myself get super dehydrated. Then I took lisinopril for blood pressure. It turns out I didn't have blood pressure issues. I was just fat. So when I get up and walk around, right, if I walk around, my blood pressure is going to spike and they're going to be like, oh my God, his blood pressure is high. No, I'm 600 pounds. You got to give me a minute to calm down after I've walked across the hospital or walked across the house or anything. My blood pressure spikes, right? So they're like, that was really bad. Then I took ibuprofen on top of that. So lisinopril hits your kidneys. Ibuprofen hits your kidneys. Super dehydration hits your kidneys. All that together, lights out. My fucking kidneys were done for. I fucked up big time, right? But that's the time I should have died, and this is my wake-up call to, you know, why I wanted to lose weight. But if you could, like and subscribe. This is uh, one of my crazy stories. I have a bunch of crazy stories. I've done a ton of crazy shit in my life. But if people like this, maybe I'll keep up the story times. All right. Thanks. Bye.